In lecture 12, uh, we are going to study the, how to analyze the photochemical processes. Okay. So uh, during the photochemical processes, uh, we usually uh, measure the quantum efficiency. Quantum efficiency is uh, uh, several different types of the quantum efficiencies are uh, uh, defined, like uh, quantum efficiency of reaction, quantum efficiency of fluorescence, quantum efficiency of uh, phosphorescence, right? Because uh, uh, these values are weaker measure. That's why we use these values for the analysis. Uh, let's think like this. During the photochemical uh, reaction, at first photoabsorption happened in excited state, uh, via the excited state chemical reaction or uh, loss of energy or relaxation happened for um, chemical systems. And the best way to understand these processes is, is just look at these processes, right? If you could see the chemical reaction by your, eye, your eyes, right? Uh, no need to do analysis. But of course, since the chemical reaction is too fast to follow and or uh, very uh, small change, um, usually we cannot observe. That's why uh, we measure some of the, the values which can be obtained after the photochemical reaction and analyze the, these value based on the, some uh, assumed models. Right? And here I will show uh, three of the uh, measurable um, efficiency. Right? So one of them is uh, quantum efficient, efficiency of re reaction uh, phi r, and um, this is a molecule number, for example, product or a reactant species number uh, divided by absorbed uh, photon number. The other is the quantum efficiency of fluorescence, which was studied in the, the previous lecture. And this is a photon number of fluorescence divided by absorbed uh, photon number. And also you can use quantum efficiency of phosphorescence and uh, here's the difference is a photon number of phosphorescence, right? So you could detect these values and again, the confirm if your model is correct or not. So to um, make an analysis, uh, we have uh, two types of the modification of the reactions. So uh, chem reaction experimental process to um, control the photochemical reactions, which are uh, quenching and sensitization. In the quenching process, we have uh, M1 molecule, which is excited, and it is um, M1 star, and change it into a product species. However, by adding the quencher here, this one quench the molecule to the ground state by receiving the energy from the M1 excited state, which is called, uh, in this case, Q is called, called uh, quenching, okay? And the other type of the modification of the reaction is called a sensitization. In the sensitization, uh, this molecule is, um, excited P and this excited molecule react with the reactant molecule 
to induce the excited kind of state. And this one gives a product. So in this process, this P is called a uh, photosensitizer. So photosensitizer promote the reaction. So M1 reaction to the product species. On the other hand, quencher molecule stop the prevent the reaction, okay? These are the typical method to control the photochemical reactions. And as one of the most uh, famous quencher I will show is oxygen. So oxygen is a well-known quencher and actually um, this is not only for photochemical reaction but also some other chemical reactions. Oxygen is and a well-known quencher. And this is uh, why. And also, um, if you have uh, some chemical uh, synthesis uh, experience, in many cases, oxygen is removed. And um, here's a uh, reason. So let's think about the oxygen, right? Oxygen has uh, eight electrons. So uh, one S, two S, and then two P. Since uh, eight electrons you have, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, right? So uh, you have uh, something like this configuration you could have. But of course, um, oxygen is O2. So O, O, right? And these are making uh, the bond, right? As you know, double bond. And then, uh, so uh, let's think about oxygen to oxygen. So uh, the, the bond making is uh, made by uh, this P orbital. So let's just uh, think about the P orbital for uh, two oxygens. I'd like you to remind how to configure the electron in the earlier lecture. So oxygen one has a one, two, three p orbital. Oh. No. And oxygen two has a and three, okay. So two oxygen has a, um, um, maybe um, you could understand that's two pi orbital and also uh, some sigma, um, sigma, um, bond. and so, uh, basically uh, one sigma and then two pi uh, all those are, are, are made by the mixing each user so here are the things so in total you have one two three four uh times two so eight electrons you need to put so if you put uh, electrons, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, right? So this is sigma pi, pi star, and sigma star. So you could notice that electrons are in the pi star anti-bonding state in the case of oxygen. And these two, here are uh, two state, two states of uh, two pi star orbitals. And you have two electrons, right? 
So this is kind of really a special configuration of electrons. So there are several uh, configurations of electrons in the pi star state. Right? So as you see, you have two pi star state and the two electrons. So how to um, define the electron configuration in a pi star state, right? Pi star state. The ground state, the lower lowest energy you could obtain is must be um, the pearl due to the Hund's law, right? So this is the lowest energy for oxygen ground state. And then first excited state is actually the same orbitals you are using, but just only changing the electron configuration. And the second excited state is actually like this one. So only by switching the electron configuration, in the case of oxygen, the energy are, energy conditions are different, right? And the energy difference is actually about 100 kilojoule or 150 kilojoule per mole, which is uh, weaker than the uh, chemical bond energy, but uh, it's a very convenient energy to take energy out of the, the chemical reaction system. So that's why it can easily uh, remove the, the reaction energy uh, if you have oxygen inside, right? Because um, just by changing the electron configuration, so uh, this one uh, absorbs the energy of 100, this one absorbs 150, right? So it can easily um, remove the energy from your system. <laughs> 